Hey everyone, it's Marvin again, and welcome to episode 5 of our online tutorial for YouTube. Um, in this episode, we're going to start talking about some of the more in-depth core features to Reamaze. Um, in the previous episodes, we already covered kind of the administrative things, such as, you know, adding your staff avatar, inviting your staff members, setting your email autoresponders, your notification settings, um, and also your office hours. So if you're missing any of those episodes, make sure to go back and take a look at those as well. Um, email is probably one of the most important features in ReMAs, uh, just because it's a core aspect of any help desk. And a lot of businesses will use email as the primary mode of communications with their customers. So ReMAs manages email alongside other channels, which we will cover in ep other episodes. Uh, but for this episode, um, we're going to talk strictly about email. Um, okay, so we're on the main dashboard right now, and the first thing you want to go to is go to settings. And we're going to scroll down until you see email channels. Okay, so um, if you have a new account, um, you'll see a channel in here already. And by default, we provide you with an email address, and it's just going to be support at yourbrand.reamaze.com. And your brand is basically the account name that you signed up with. Um, and for this demo account, it's johnsmithco.reamaze.com. Now, you can use this email straight out of the box. Um, so if you don't have a Gmail business address or a GoDaddy or something from Office 365, you can go ahead and start using this email address if you wanted to, right? It can just tell customers to email you at support at Um And if you look um, inside this kind of this little modal here, you'll see there's a reply name, email display, spam filtering. These are all settings that you can change uh, by clicking on manage settings, okay? And here's the first one is going to be this, the name of the channel. So we'll, maybe we'll call this John Smith Co. Support. Okay. And this part is about connecting your existing email address. So if you have something like support at johnsmithco.com, um, you'll want to set up email forwarding in order to use um, your existing email account or email address. Okay. So we'll cover that um, after we finish the rest of the, the this, this page. The, after that is default notification settings. So we already kind of talked about this. Um, basically, you can add staff members that will receive notifications for this email channel. Underneath that are reply settings. Um, and we give you several different options. So if a customer emails you um, and you have email forwarding set up or you're just, you, you're just using the standard email address that ReMAs provides you and you reply to customers through ReMAs, uh, we can display that reply name, like it's coming back from uh, either John Smith Co. Support, which would be the channel name, right? Or reply with your brand name, which is just John Smith Co., okay? Or you can reply with a staff name. Um, underneath that is reply from origin address. Uh, those of you that use aliases will be familiar with this setting um, from Gmail. Uh, basically, this will set the from address and name to the receiving address when available. For example, if you have multiple aliases for the same email box, this will choose the proper alias based on where the original customer email was addressed. Okay, so if you want to check that, you can. Uh, underneath that is the display settings, and display settings is pretty important. So by default, Reamaze kind of strips out HTML content, and we display the plain text part of the customer's message. Um, and we do this for two reasons. One is that it makes it super easy to read. So there won't be images kind of stuck in line. There won't be any HTML elements. There won't be like um, random signatures with different colors, confidential like signature information and all that stuff. So we strip everything out, show your customer service agents the main core content of the customer message. Um, but if you're, you know, if you're a different type of business and you rely a lot on third party confirmation emails or it's super important to see full HTML emails, you can allow ReMAs to display HTML emails by default. Um, and that's where you would want to check this option. And we'll kind of go through what the default mode, the default look looks like and what the full HTML mode looks like. Uh, below that are spam filter settings. We highly recommend you checking this for all of your email accounts in ReMAs, uh, mainly because nobody likes spam, right? And two, um, it gives you a way to um, turn on this little button. Uh, so when you e open an email message, you can actually actively mark it as spam, right? Um, pardon for the noise. So the best way to actually prevent spam is obviously, obviously from your origin inbox. So whichever email address that you're forwarding from into ReMAs, that's where you want to stop spam because then it doesn't come into ReMAs and doesn't you don't have to go through this whole uh, process of marking things as spam or kind of relying on 
our email client or our email servers to kind of do the spam detection, right? Um, you can also create filters in your origin inbox to prevent spam that way. So definitely enable this. Uh, below that is the autoresponder setting for this email channel, right? We kind of covered autoresponders in episode four. So if you, if you missed that, make sure to go back and look at that video. Uh, but you can turn on autoresponders and put in a message here. So we're going to leave that turn off. Um, satisfaction survey settings. So Reamaze does provide satisfaction surveys as a um, as an add-on feature for our Plus plan. Um, and whenever customers email you and that kind of message has been resolved and it's been closed, you definitely want to send your customers a follow-up kind of uh, feedback survey, um, asking them to rate how you guys did on your support. Um, do they find it helpful? Do they want to provide additional feedback? Um, you can run reports on these satisfaction surveys as well. So if you want satisfaction surveys turned on, if you have the plus plan, you can do that here. So if you enable it, um, we, you have different options. You can set the delay. So after 48 hours of a conversation being resolved, that's when Reamaze will send the satisfaction survey. Um, obviously, you can change this. And eligible conversations are just, you know, which conversations become eligible for a survey? Uh, does it just have to be resolved? Does it have to be archived? Or can it be resolved and archived in order for uh, the customer to receive, receive a satisfaction survey? So you have some options here to choose from. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off for now. So channel signatures, we already talked about as well um, in episode three, I believe. Um, so you can check that out and what that does. Custom SMTP settings. Uh, by default, we obviously route emails and your replies through our email server. Um, if you want to use your own servers or Gmail server or GoDaddy server, uh, and control deliverability that way, you can definitely enable custom SMTP. And we have uh, an article on our um, FAQ, so it's just support.reamaze.com. Type in the keyword custom SMTP, and you'll get an article for that. Um, so if you want to enable that, you can do that here. Um, and the last option is the smart assistant. Um, the smart assistant helps you automatically resolve or archive conversations that become unhandled after certain days. Right, so if you have conversations in there that are just it's just a, conf a confirmation message, it doesn't require any handling or it doesn't require response by any agent, you can use the assistant to automatically resolve those um, after X number of days. Right? It can also even auto-delete spam and automatically send reminders for unresolved conversations. Um, but this smart assistant is super helpful and helps keep your inbox very, very clean. Right. Um, if, if you have like an SLA that you've promised your customers, um, you can actually use uh, the assistant to kind of keep you on, on track. So, you know, if it becomes unresolved for, I don't know, 48 hours, uh, which is two days, um, you can set the assistant to remind you um, of those unresolved conversations. So once you go through all these settings, um, you can go ahead and click save. But before we do that in this demo, we're actually going to go ahead and talk about um, changing the email um, channel to your address. So if you have your own email address, for example, support at johnsmithco.com, right? You obviously want to use that because your customers have been used to it. They're already emailing you there. You might have it published somewhere on your website or in your app. Um, you definitely want to use your own email address. So to do that, we're going to go through the process of email forwarding. Um, and you start by clicking on the change button. So this is going to ask you, you know, what's your email address? So for example, I, I want to set up email forwarding from chris.dunnan at gmail.com, which is going to be, let's say, my customer service address, right? So I want to connect that to this email channel, which is support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. So I'm going to input chris.dunnan at gmail.com. I'm going to hit next. And it's going to ask me to set up forwarding now. So make sure you copy this. Okay, and the, the process of setting up email forwarding is a little bit different with every email client or email provider, but the concept is basically the same. Um, you'll kind of have to search for that settings menu, right? Um, and then you'll want to go to forwarding and the other settings here. You want to add a forwarding address. I'm going to put that in as support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. Hit next. Make sure you hit proceed. And then it's going to say a uh, confirmation code has been sent to support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. Hit OK. Now go back to your Reamaze account and say and click on auto detect confirmation code. And the code will be automatically inserted here. So you can copy that and go back to your email settings here and put in the confirmation code and hit verify. Okay. 
Um, now, a lot of people miss this in Gmail, but you actually get defaulted back to disable forwarding. So make sure to click on the second radio button um, that says forward a copy of incoming mail to support at johnsmithco.reamaze.com. When you're done with that, click save changes. Okay, wait for that to confirm. And go back to reamaze and then say I've completed forwarding. And just wait a few minutes and it should pop up. Um, and the, the, the wait time is different between you know every email provider again. Uh, but at the end, you should see a little green check mark and hit close and you should be good to go. Um, and don't forget to click save channel settings at the very end. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to my inbox and I'm going to go ahead and send a, a test email here. So give me a second. Okay, so I've just sent a test email from my personal email, which is marvin at Um And as soon as I receive it in this origin inbox here, um, I should also receive it in reamaze. So here it is, it says Marvin Strauss and no subject line, I just put in hello world, right? Now, if you go back to your reamaze account, you'll see that you've received the same message here in reamaze. And this is the, 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 the process that you, that you would use to start making reamaze your email handler, right? So you'll be using reamaze um, for email alongside your social media channels and also reamaze chat, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this conversation and I can see the main message here. Now, I mentioned earlier that we support two different modes. One is the, the default look and feel, which is the plain text. Um, the other mode is the full HTML mode. Um, if I open this confirmation message here, you'll see that most of the stuff is in plain text. Uh, but if I click on view original email, you'll actually see that um, this is the, the actual the actual HTML that Gmail delivered to reamaze, right? Now, if you, if you chose to always display HTML emails, um, you'll basically be seeing this view instead of the stripped down version here. Obviously, this is not a good um, presentation case for this because it, it, the two pretty much look the same, uh, but you get the idea. One is going to be a stripped down version. The other one is going to be kind of the, the full HTML mode. Okay, so um, that's how you set up email. That's how you kind of set up the, all the basics in terms of email forwarding. Um, as soon as you start receiving customer messages from reamaze, You'll be able to use reamaze to start responding to customers from here. And we'll cover that in another episode in terms of how to use the dashboard and all of the functionality up here. Um, but that should you know, wrap it up for episode five. Um, and I'll see you guys in episode six.